Welcome to our Python exploration video. Today we're tackling a fascinating question about how Python handles name object bindings. Our viewer wonders, what happens when I create a list like C equals one in Python? Specifically, they want to know how the integer one is managed within that list and what it means for name bindings. Let's dive into the details and unravel the mystery behind Python's object model. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. When you create a list in Python, such as C equals to a list containing the integer one, like C equals to square brackets one, you are indeed creating a list object. The integer one inside the list is not a new object. Instead, it's a reference to an existing integer object. In Python, all values are objects, and variables are simply names bound to these objects. Now let's consider the example where you assign d equals to one, and then create a list e that contains d. In this case, e will hold a reference to the same integer object that d refers to. So when you modify the list e, you are not changing the integer object itself. The integer object remains unchanged and the list simply holds a reference to it. In summary, both c and e hold references to existing objects. This means that when you access c0 or e0, you are accessing the same integer object, not creating a new one. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When you create a list in Python, like C equals one in brackets, you're telling Python to create a list object that points to the integer object with the value of one. The list contains pointers to objects in memory. For example, C0 returns a pointer to the object at index 0, not a name bound to that item. If you create D equals 1 and then E equals a list containing D, both D and E0 point to the same integer object. This shows how variables can be aliases for the same object. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.